Elric of Melnibone, a character created by British author Michael Moorcock, is one of the most iconic and complex figures in the genre of sword and sorcery. First introduced in 1961, Elric differs drastically from traditional fantasy heroes. His albinism, reliance on arcane drugs for vitality and the sentient, soul-devouring sword Stormbringer encapsulate a character fraught with contradictions and existential angst. This essay explores Elric's intricate nature, his thematic significance, and his lasting impact on the fantasy genre. Elric is the last emperor of the ancient, decaying island kingdom of Melnabone, a civilization that once ruled the world through sorcery and brutality. Unlike his hedonistic and ruthless ancestors, Elric is introspective and morally conflicted. His pale skin and weak constitution stand in stark contrast to the physical prowess typically associated with heroic figures. Yet, it is these very traits that make Elric uniquely compelling as a protagonist. Elric's need for potions to maintain his strength further underscores his vulnerability and dependency. This reliance parallels the dependency he has on Stormbringer, his Black Runes word, which grants him immense power at the cost of consuming the souls of those it kills. The sword embodies a duality, an indispensable but malevolent asset, much like Elric's own nature. Stormbringer is both a blessing and a curse, symbolizing Elric's internal struggle and the external consequences of his actions. Elric's narrative arc is rich with themes of existentialism. He is perpetually in search of meaning and identity in a world indifferent to his suffering. This search often leads him into conflict, not just with external foes, but with his own conscience. Unlike typical fantasy heroes who seek to restore order and justice, Elric is more concerned with understanding his place in a chaotic and morally ambiguous universe. His journey is marked by tragic loss, betrayal, and an ever-looming sense of doom. This existential turmoil makes Elric a deeply human character, resonating with readers who find in him a reflection of their own struggles with purpose and morality. Furthermore, Elric's character serves as a critique of traditional heroism. In a genre populated by invincible, morally unambiguous heroes, Elric stands out as a subversive figure. He questions the very fabric of what it means to be heroic. His actions are often guided by necessity and survival rather than altruism or duty. This moral ambiguity challenges readers to reconsider the black and white dichotomies often present in fantasy literature. Michael Moorcock's creation also reflects the socio-political climate of the 1960s, a time marked by disillusionment and questioning of traditional values. Through Elric, Moorcock critiques imperialism, decadence, and the cyclical nature of history. Melnabone's fall mirrors the decline of empires and the inevitable rise of new powers, encapsulating a theme of historical inevitability. Elric's doomed efforts to change his fate can be seen as a metaphor for the futility of resisting these larger forces. Elric's influence on the fantasy genre cannot be overstated. Moorcock's anti-hero paved the way for more complex and morally ambiguous characters in modern fantasy literature. Authors such as George R. R. Martin and Glenn Cook have drawn inspiration from Elric in creating their own nuanced worlds and characters. The character's legacy extends beyond literature into other media, including comic books, role-playing games, and music, cementing his place as a cultural icon. In conclusion, Elric of Melnabone is a multifaceted character who defies the conventions of heroism and offers a rich exploration of existential and moral themes. His tragic story, marked by vulnerability, dependency, and perpetual conflict, resonates with readers on a profound level. By challenging traditional notions of heroism and reflecting the socio-political anxieties of his time, Elric remains a seminal figure in the fantasy genre. His enduring legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences, ensuring that Michael Moorcock's creation will be remembered as one of the great anti-heroes of literary history. Music